Hello students starting our new chapter chapter number 9 that is human settlements let's see in this chapter what is human settlements the meaning of a living in a society is to cooperate with fellow human beings so as to fulfill their needs as well as to help others human beings live with others by forming a cluster of habitation a cluster of houses where human beings live is called a settlement settlements may belong to villages that is rural or towns and cities that is urban a modern settlement comprises buildings means of transport and communication and also the inhabitants of the settlement origin of settlement the ancestors of modern man were nomads and they lived in caves these dwellings were the first human settlements they were not continuously inhabited as men have to move from place to place in search of food men started settled life when they learned to grow crops the importance of leading a settled life increased as trade and commerce grew thus the first town came into existence along with it different type of building like schools temples mosque town hall hospitals etc were built today we have well planned cities with multi storied buildings broad roads well planned sewage system and sanitation and other facilities every settlement needs a source of water this is why the earliest cities of our ancient civilization grew on the banks of river valleys where water was available in plenty fertile soil and moderate climate encourage agriculture and other economic activity such conditions are found in plains they also have flat lands which favors the development of transport and communication and encourage trade the transport junction are good sites for settlement people settle at those places where they can easily earn their living therefore settlements came up near industrial areas and mines sometimes tourist places and places of historical importance also attract settlements the design of houses and materials from which they are built depend on the natural conditions for example at the area prone to floods the houses are built on platforms the area where it rains or snows a lot they may have the slanting roof that allows rain or snow to slide off in hilly areas the houses are built of stone rural and urban settlements on the basis of type of occupation practiced by its inhabitants the settlements may be rural or urban in rural settlements most of the people are engaged in primary occupation like agriculture mining fishery and forestry the products are derived directly from nature villages are the example of rural settlement in urban settlement people are engaged in secondary and tertiary occupation they are either work in industries or they provide services like health and education towns and cities are example of urban settlements compact and dispersed settlement the settlement where all the houses are built side by side leaving narrow lanes and by lanes are called compact settlement the settlements are the collective amenities to serve the people like school place of worship hospital and markets dispersed settlement serves few family and houses are scattered in isolated places life is simple and quiet as there is little opportunity for social gathering this type of settlements are found on highlands or farmlands 
Pattern of Rural Settlements Circular Pattern They generally develop around a lake or pond or in oases in a desert area. When people settle around such a water body, it takes the shape of a circular pattern. Linear Pattern This type of settlements develop along highway or railway line or along a canal or river in which all the houses are built in a line. Rectangular Pattern This type of settlement generally develop at the crossroads. The houses built side by side living lines and by lines. Patterns of Urban Settlements Cities are large and compact in size. They have all the amenities in life and also support non-agricultural functions such as education, hospital, industry, transport, etc. Urban centers can be classified on the basis of their functions. Starting with industrial towns. They are largely concerned with the processing of raw materials into finished products. Bhilai, Ludhiana, Jamshedpur, etc. are the primarily industrial towns. Market towns. They act as market sites for the exchanges of goods. They are mainly the collection and distribution centers of goods. Administrative towns. Such towns performs the function of administration. Cities like Delhi, Washington DC, London are some examples. Cultural towns. Such towns are known for the promotion of country's culture and education. Shantiniketan at Burbam is an example of such a type. Port towns. This town performs the function of a port like Mumbai, Vishakhapatnam, etc. Resort towns. These towns are known for tourist attraction. For example, Nainital, Masuri, Shimla.